I am wearing my Chanel shoes. service that I am playing at the local church I'm supposed to be there at 8 o'clock so I don't have much time but I don't live far away um, and then the second service I think it's about 11 or something or 11 30 11 and um, so yeah so I show you yesterday that we had uh, like a rehearsal at that uh, little church and today I have two services to play and then oh my god the sun. oh I love the sun but it's just getting in my face <laughs> and then uh, after this I have to actually go to my um, to my church you know when my husband is gonna come with the kids I'm gonna meet him there and then pretty much <laughs> I'm just telling you my all day right now pretty much after that I have to go to the symphony because we have an afternoon concert with, which is at 3 p.m. so I'm gonna be up and running all day and pretty much busy working so other than this what I'm just telling you not much is going to happen today um, I I will be obviously watching 90 day fiance because this is it's Sunday right I mixed this morning one of my uh, famous breads that I make uh, I told you a couple of days ago maybe last week that I was gonna show you the recipe at some point so I'm gonna show you the recipe of how I make the bread because I pretty much mix it this morning and I'm gonna bake it in the afternoon so I'm gonna um, show you in this vlog you know as the day goes so I'm gonna come home and just bake it and show you all the steps hi guys here we go again <laughs> the same church yep right there by the way I have my beautiful Louis Vuitton scarf so I'm just gonna because I wear all black I mean it's hard to tell but I wear all black so they say we can have a little pop of color so I thought this would be nice during the concert and I really try to recreate the look from yesterday I think I did a pretty good job considering that I didn't have much time but anyway <laughs> Oh my gosh, my cranky voice. <clears throat> I gotta get going. you guys I'm gonna go home I'm gonna say bye to you for today I'm exhausted 
I will still I still have to bake a bread so I'm gonna insert the footage right now <laughs> and I'll talk to you tomorrow bye so you guys I'm gonna show you how I make my bread my homemade bread so basically I have a cup and a half of pretty kind of warm to hot water so I'm gonna put it in my bowl and the next thing I need to do you need some yeast obviously and I will be using uh, I like to use about half a teaspoon so like a good half a teaspoon of yeast and I do it like two batches of this so I'm just gonna maybe a little bit more maybe let's do a teaspoon and a half okay I'm gonna show you how it looks like there we go and I don't really wait for my yeast to kind of um, you know start working uh, I put it pretty much right away a uh, flour I'm using uh, all-purpose flour and we need three cups of flour for each to make one bread so that's what I'm gonna do now and I kind of you know I kind of level it in the in the in the back I just kind of sprinkle right on top so you need three cups You also need a tablespoon and a half of salt uh, per each bread. So I'm just putting a tablespoon and a half in each of my bowls. There we go. And that's all you have to do. This is pretty much it. This is all you have to need <laughs> to make a bread. And I like to take a spatula and just kind of mix it. So this is how it's supposed to look, you guys. The dough is very kind of like sticky, as you see, it sticks to my uh, spatula and it's kind of, yeah, it's very sticky. And all you have to do is just to cover with um, just a cling wrap and just leave it to, for about six, eight hours, eight hours is perfect. So I usually do this like at the evening. And then if I have time, like say, if I do it on Friday evening, then uh, Saturday morning, I'm just going to bake it. So it will just give you enough time, you know, to raise. Um, so it's pretty much, but this is it. This is the stage you want to leave. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix my second one. So this is done you guys, I put some plastic on top of it so it's not the dough is not going to dry out and I'm just going to let them stay like this for a couple of hours. You know, 6, 8 hours, even 10 hours will be fine, you don't have to feel so stressed, but at least 6, six hours. Um, I would suggest the longer you leave, the actually the better the bread is because you don't need to knead this bread or do anything funny to it. So. Now, the secret in baking, you guys, is to have some kind of, um, what is it called, the Dutch oven. <laughs> Mine looks pretty beat up and pretty burned. I only use it for baking bread, you guys. I have two of those, and um, you have to make sure that the knobs are also full, like iron, that there's no plastic, because you're going to bake it on at 475 degree so obviously if you have any plastic parts it will just completely melt so you want to and this is i think it's a five five quarts it's like a soup you know kind of like a stew um sorry if my look all <laughs> kind of burnt i don't cook in it i only use it for uh baking my bread so like i said i have two of those i bought it like 10 years ago and that's that's all i use so when you are ready to, um, you know, bake your bread, take it out. I put it like on the wax paper um, and I sprinkle a little bit of the flour uh, on the surface. And then also I sprinkle a little bit, I think it's called a cornmeal. Um, and pretty much, there we go, yeah, it's a cornmeal. So I sprinkle on top. I take the bread out of the bowl and I kind of form into like, you know, like kind of a round loaf, I would say. Just as you can see, I just kind of 
play with this a little bit a few times and then just place it on top and I do the same with the second one and you should probably wait about 30 minutes um, just let it kind of raise like this also on the top I'm gonna sprinkle some more cornmeal and cover with like uh, you know like a kitchen kitchen towel and just kind of let it rest for about 30 minutes and after 30 minutes make sure you put your both pots in the oven and heat them along with the as you're gonna preheat your oven and like I said you're gonna uh, set it up you're gonna preheat your oven to 475 degree Bake your bread for 30 minutes in the preheated oven and it's gonna come up beautiful, crispy and incredibly yummy.